welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this pop art Zom Bay Glam. Super fun to record. I think it's so pretty. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to take the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm taking the color um, Buon Fresco. It's like this really cool tone, grayish purple color. And I'm just brushing that all over my crease and then going in with the, um, sorry, the shade um, love letter and I'm gonna just brush that into my crease to start building that up a little bit since we are gonna do a semi cut crease um, I want this to look very nicely blended and have that really pretty ombre gradient effect and then just to deepen it a little more I'm taking the color Venetian red and brushing that right on top of the love letter and then blending all three of those colors together Now taking um, the lightest shade in the palette, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and then blend that out. And now I'm taking Cypress Umber, which is that chocolate brown shade, and I'm brushing that into my crease as well and then blending it together. Now with whatever concealer you have, go ahead and start carving out your crease a little bit. I'm not going to be winging, um, winging it out at the end. I'm going to just round it out um, towards the end of my lid. So you could wing it out if you want to and have your wing follow. Before the look today, I wanted it to be semi-symmetrical to the other side, which is going to be more rounded. So that's why I decided to do that. And then I'm just tapping any excess product and then um, going in with that dark brown shadow again and a little bit of black just to make it look a little bit more defined. Now I'm taking this Makeup Revolution um, highlight. It does have like a pink undertone to it. Um, it's called Radiant Lights and I really like it. It's so pretty and I thought it'd be perfect for this look. And if you guys haven't checked out Makeup Revolution's highlights, you really should. They're so pigmented and they're only like five or six bucks. They're super affordable and amazing. All right, so for my winged eyeliner today, I'm going for more of a subtle short wing, which is still kind of big to some people, but to me, this is definitely a lot smaller than I usually do. I just really wanted you to be able to see the cut crease, like the moon shape of it. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. All right, so I'm taking the colors that I took on my crease. I'm also applying it to the lower lash line, applying some black gel liner, because I really want that intense smoky look and also blending it out with some black eyeshadow. Okay, so now for the Pop Art Zombie face, I recommend going in with a white or a nude pencil just so you can erase what you're drawing if you don't like how it looks. I know I had to do that a few times. <laughs> so I'm just tracing out around my mouth where my teeth are gonna be and also on my cheek where those are gonna pop out as well. And then my brain and my nose and all that cool Pop Art stuff. <laughs> You can really do whatever you want. If you just look up refer reference pictures online, you can really, you know, make it your own and personalize it a little bit. That's what I did. And I wanted my brain to be a little bit bigger, so I just took off the, the liner and just drew it out a little bigger. It's that easy. And then, I don't know if these were gonna be teardrops or thunderbolts, but I just drew something there just so I knew not to color that space in. So I took a blue paint, red paint, and a white paint to get this really pretty like light purple color. I used a lot more blue and white, but I did use a little red just to get that pretty purple color. Um, but yeah, that's what I did. You can do whatever color you want though. So I'm just filling in all the empty spaces. That way it'll be a little easier to know where my actual pop art art is I guess so when I go in and start sketching um sorry coloring that in I'll know exactly where it's at and I also brought the paint on my lid I wasn't sure if I was going to do that at first but I was like whatever I'll just do it who cares so I just put love letter and Venetian red all over my lid and then um cut that crease with a black liner 
And now for my brain. So I mix a red and a white pink together to make this really pretty light pink to work as my brain. It's also going to be used for our gums on our mouth, which is going to be nice. Um, which that's going to be the hard part, but we'll get there <laughs> when we got to get there, you know. <laughs> Anyways, um, but I'm just taking a black body paint and filling in my nose and also lining the outside of my mask. So you want to make sure that you're drawing or outlining everything in black that way it'll make everything pop a little more and look more abstract and pop art like and then I'm taking a black liner filling in my eyebrows with it and then also elongating them in the front going upwards for the, my brain I really didn't know how to draw a draw brain it was actually more harder than I thought it was going to be um, I just drew squiggly lines and circle lines and then also put dots everywhere I don't know, I guess you can kind of tell it's a brain, right? I really don't know how to draw a brain, so I think you can really get away with anything if you just draw some, you know, squiggly lines. So for the teeth, I'm first going in with all white, just um, getting the color on there. Um, it's always hard to do teeth on top of your lips just because there's so much texture, and then you know, obviously your lips are usually moist, so it's getting it all messed up, and I was getting... A little frustrated with teeth. I hate teeth all the time. Oh my god. They're just always such a drag. But initially, basically, what I ended up doing in the end is drawing a really big line of white and then just lining it with the black liner to make it look like teeth. I don't know why I made it so hard on myself and so difficult. I was working harder than I needed to. <laughs> but you can use a black body paint or a black liner. I used a black liner. I thought it would just be easier for me to use. Um, but you definitely want the paint to dry first or it's going to mix in with the white and it's going to turn gray. So as you can see, I first tried filling in like the inner part of my lip with the black, but I ended up not liking how it looked after I had the teeth drawn on. So I went in with the makeup wipe and I just took it out. You know, I just took it off my face, which is like... The good thing about the makeup, you know, is if you don't like something, just get a little makeup wipe and take it off and then redo it, you know, and you'll get it next time. Now I'm going in with that same color we used for the brain and I'm just gonna fill in all the spots around my mouth and then line that with the black liner and then start adding some shading. So now I'm taking um, a pink eyeshadow and a red eyeshadow just to make the gums look three-dimensional and like they're actually coming out from underneath my skin. And I'm adding a little bit of black closest to that black liner that we applied. That way it looks like it's really sunken in and it's going really deep. And it just adds like that really pretty like three-dimension look, which is cool. So for the side teeth, I literally drew a very long stripe of white and then drew a line in the middle and then started going in around and around with my teeth. I decided to do round ones. It was just a lot easier than doing actual like little Hershey Kiss shaped ones. So that's what I did. I thought it would be a lot easier but as you can see some of them got bigger than the others and I kind of got a little messy and it's just as easy with going in with a makeup wipe and fixing it and trying it again. But you do want to make sure after you get your teeth where you want them to be that you fill them in with white just so they pop a little more. And then when it comes to shading for the cheek part of my teeth, I'm definitely fo fo um, focusing more black shadow at the end of it towards my ear. That way it looks like it's going a little bit more deeper and again for that three dimensional feel. And then to also look like it's kind of pulling back on my skin, I decided to elongate the sides of it and then also bring out um, the lips a little more. And now I'm taking yellow. I'm going to fill in all the rest of the empty spaces. So 
so underneath my eye and then those two little lines <laughs> after I started filling in the other faces with the yellow I started to realize like hey these look like bananas <laughs> hey I like bananas so I don't care but I thought it was really funny <laughs> But you can fill them in and do this any colors that you would like. And then make sure you line everything with the black liquid liner or black body paint. And then I'm just applying like lines everywhere to kind of give my face more of a frowning look and to make it look more like comic book pop art. So that's what I'm doing here, just adding any little stripes and lines where I think they would fit. So you can kind of get away with anything. After that, I just went in with some white body paint and started to highlight little areas as well. Basically everywhere I put the little black lines, I put a white line just to give it a highlight. That's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave I had so much fun filming this for you and I hope I you know did you some justice and explained it as good as I can <laughs> I really tried so yeah thanks for everything guys I'll see you in my next one bye